A while back, I did a video about what I keep with me, what I carry with me when I go out, and that changes a lot over time with what specifically I carry with me. Now I'm gonna do a separate video, and I've had a few at least with some of our on-site wiring technicians and what they carry. They deal with the physical layer a lot, I don't. I am a network engineer when I'm not running this business, so I'm doing things like troubleshooting VPNs or cable modems that need to be put in bridge mode, but not physical wires. That part has always been checked by the time I get there. And I bring that up because someone's gonna ask why I don't have a bunch of crimpers and some of the other wire testers. It's also because I don't like to carry much with me. I keep it very simple. But that being said, I wanted to share some of the things that I find handy to keep in my bag here. And there's really not much to it. First off is I like to keep it pretty light. And that's it. That's all of the things I have in here. I usually have a USB drive in here too. I don't happen to have it at the moment. Outside of a USB drive missing, uh, that was it. That's why I just carry this really thin network bag because mostly 99% of the time what I'm doing as a network engineer, is right here. Having my laptop currently has Linux loaded on there. I do have VirtualBox in here with uh, Parrot OS. So I'm either running something in a VirtualBox to do a scan or I'm directly using uh, Linux and the tools built in it to do network diagnostics, network engineering, and such, so on and so forth. But that does require a few things. One of them is I'm there a long time. And sometimes waiting really long time when you're waiting on service providers to turn up a circuit or check a fiber connection. So you get a plug in your laptop. And this laptop, which I have a separate review, I'll leave a link to. Really love this laptop. It's a Lenovo L480, really basic. Does have a great battery life, but I have these Anchor chargers. And Anchor makes really nice USB chargers, including this particular one is a USB-C laptop charger. It's small, it's convenient, it has this cable right here, I'll leave a link to this as well. It's just a USB-C to USB-C cable for charging my laptop. And very quickly with this nice braided cable, I am set up and running with plenty of room to spare. And the nice thing about USB-C is because it can pull out from either end. If I accidentally somehow wrap this around or the plug falls out, it doesn't take the laptop with it. It's in there tight enough, it's not going to drop, but if you try hard enough, you'll get it to drop. So. That's the first part here. And like I said, it folds up nice and neat, goes right back in the bag. And it's, I don't know how exactly to say it, but I'll leave links to this. It's a, a C-H-O-E-T-E-C-H. These cables seem really nice. They're capable uh, of carrying the wattage that you need for doing a USB-C laptop. And uh, that's why I chose these ones. Anchor does make some cables. Uh, I didn't see Anchor ones at the time I bought these. I don't know if they were out of stock or just didn't have them. I didn't find any Anchor ones that were capable of handling the same wattage. And these are actually a little bit less expensive, but still come with that really nice nylon braiding that I really enjoy. Next thing is Anchor charger for my phone, because what if you're sitting on the phone for a long time? And the same thing, these are another brand, but the same, I really, once again, I really like these braided cables, but I have a short one here, because I have the Anchor charger here. And this is a standard USB rechargeable one. Now this is great sometimes when I travel, this is actually the same set of tools I travel with, and which is also because sometimes I'm put on planes to go places, why I don't have any sharp objects in here because that would have to be checked and certainly not something you wanna have a carry on. And I do prefer my laptop. I'll usually have it in this inside of my backpack with a few other things when I'm traveling with my carry on, um, but there's nothing in here that sets off any alarms when you're traveling. Uh, but you know, you gotta keep the phone charged. Once again, I've actually had this for I think two years and the battery life is still amazing on it. It's held up really well. I like the fact that it can completely charge my phone, can plug in there and I'll leave a link to this. Um, this just like I said, a standard anchor charger, but sometimes when I just wanna have my phone, it works really well for just keeping it charged. It's simple, but it's a handy device that's really held up. And I do like the fact that anchor, so they're not poking holes in your bag. These just fold right down. Both of them are designed that way. Next tool right here, this one. These are so inexpensive, but so well made at the same time. So this is your Amazon Basics. Yes, just the Amazon Basics is really inexpensive. USB 3 gigabit network adapter. Works in Windows perfectly fine, no drivers needed. Works in Linux perfectly fine, no drivers needed. And uh, this is just a great handy little, I need another network. Now, yes, my L480 does have a network 
on it. But sometimes when you come back to doing network engineering, you need to be in more than one network at a time rather than switch back and forth. And this is an easy way to bridge between them. And the transfer speeds are reasonably fast on it. It's USB 3, but I'm generally not as worried about speeds. It's not about transfer speed. It, for me, it's all about, I need to be inside of this network and be in that network. And that's a really handy little device to have. Now the cables themselves, let's talk about those. So I have here, two different cables. This is 20 feet of cable. And I love these thin cables. I reviewed a series of them a little while ago and I used to like the flat cables. And I tell you, they do not bundle as nice as these. These are so quick and easy to uh, unwrap, wrap, and to have 20 feet of cable right here. I usually use a short one, but occasionally, you know, you have to be here. The plug is over here, but the network is all the way at the top of the rack or the rack is, you know, mounted uh, six feet off the ground that I need to plug into. And having that is just 20 feet, that small, folded up really easy. And of course, this is the smaller one. And once again, always keeping Velcro ties, but even as tiny as this was, here we go. We, I think this is a, a five footer right here. Yeah, it's five feet. Uh, this one, I'll leave a link to it. But these are just some of the basic things I keep with me all the time. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you is a flashlight. And this flashlight goes under the name Vansky but I know it doesn't sell under that name now. I found, and I'll leave a link to the one I found that's the same price as this was, it just says something else on it. So the flashlight's still made. These have actually been around. We've bought these for all the technicians here. And uh, it's a great flashlight because it's USB rechargeable, works really well as far as brightness, uh, supposedly waterproof. I would say splash proof. I don't know how long it would last underwater, um, but uses standard, 18650s. Now, the advantage of these is if the 18650 goes bad, these are readily available and very inexpensive to go buy another one. So your 18650 battery, easy to find, easy to replace, and keep the lights uh, lasting. Only one of, I think out of the five of these we bought, five or six for our techs, uh, one of them did go bad, like the battery, not the flight, and uh, we dropped it in a replacement and away we went. It just wouldn't hold a charge. You turn the light on and it wouldn't stay on. Uh, this one's mine, and I use it quite a bit. It's Matter of fact, it's just handy just to have it. It's got a couple brightness settings and a flashy setting. Then you just hold it in and it goes off. One of those simple little things, but wow, it's handy. It's also quite heavy if you wanted to hit something with it. It's uh, pretty well made. It's all metal design. Matter of fact, interesting, so is this Amazon Basics. This is metal as well. Uh, but I'll leave a link to these. Like I said, these are just a couple things in there. And of course, this inexpensive Pro HT case. There's nothing too special about it. Someone will probably uh, complain because it doesn't have anything but one big pocket. But for me, I don't need individual pockets because there's so few things. I can load this up real quick and uh, have it all packaged back up and be out the door really fast without having to look at all. And it all fits in here nice and flat. And away we go. Oh, last little thing that I didn't pull out that came in there. This is the USB. Unfortunately, I have my phone is USB-C, but the Vansky flashlight is still standard micro USB, but hey, it fits in there. Uh, I, I love these little short cables too. So if you don't need them to be longer, because I just need to charge it real quick to sit next to something, it's very helpful. And especially when you're trying to read part numbers off the back, that's why I use a flashlight more often than you'd think. I use my phone as a flashlight, which actually has some advantages as well, because a lot of times I'll turn a flashlight on the phone and reach it behind a router and take a picture of it so I can get a serial number off the back. But I've had to look around for things uh, that I may or may not have dropped and the phone's just not bright enough when you drop something behind a rack and you need to find it. And that's it, and I'm out of here. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.